Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I want to cover something in this video that I end up using whenever I can, and what that is, riv nuts, also called rivet nuts or threaded inserts. I don't know if you can see that, but so what these are are just little inserts that have threads in them, and pretty much what you do is you take something like this here that I have that I want to put a thread in. I take the insert, drop it in, and then you need a tool. And what it'll do is it actually crushes this backside down so that it actually creates a mechanical, almost pressed fit inside the hole that you've already drilled or made. So each one of these rib nuts, they come in all different sizes. The smaller ones that I have, I have this tool that it's just like a crimping tool almost. Uh, this here is a 3816 rib nut. It's a little bit bigger, so I ended up buying this tool here. This is just a tool that pretty much you thread the rib nut on and then you back this part off here. And what that does is that collapses the actual thread in there and creates kind of like a mushroom on the back of it, just kind of like a rivet does and that's what keeps the thread inside your part. I use these on sheet metal where you don't want to use just like a sheet metal screw that might strip out because the metal's too thin. You could pop one of these in there. Uh, I use these for, like this here is a leg of a piece of furniture. So something that doesn't have huge mechanical stress on it, I'll end up using these for I use them for mounting like brake lines, battery cables, stuff like that on frame rails of my truck. You pretty much can use them for all sorts of different things. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like whenever I actually start tightening this down and you can see kind of how these work. So like I was saying, for each one of these, they're going to have a different size hole that you have to, you have to cut or drill. So this here, like I was saying, all this tool does is it's a bolt. It goes in, it's not threaded, and what you do is you just back this out. And what it does is it'll, you'll have this threaded on, and it'll just collapse and pull those threads. And this area here will actually crunch. So I'll show you guys real quick. So as you can see, it's already starting to crush and kind of mushroom out the back side. It's like a rivet. So that's pretty much how it works. So now that's in there pretty solid. I definitely like using this tool better than using the, the hand tool. You just get a lot more leverage on this here. So. So now you have a threaded insert in here and you didn't have to put a weld nut and take the time to weld that. Um, also, these work really well for thin sheet metal, like I said. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Later.